Hey guys, Frog Collector 91. It's kind of dark behind me. I'm sorry. Uh, if you can't see in the video, well, then I'll turn on the lights quickly right behind me. So I'm going to turn them on and see what they look like. If it's too bright, it's perfect. Now, oh no, no, we got that over there. If my head blocks it, that's great. Now, uh, you know what? I'm going to see what the video looks like with them off. I should check this before I do the video. Oh, and out there, beautiful gaming. I don't care if you hate the videos, honestly. It's cool. Everyone has their own opinion out there. That's great, video, beautiful gaming. You hate my videos? Good job. But I do not like cowards out there who just say the video was rushed. It was an update. Does someone want to sit through a 10-minute update? I'm not rushing. With that video, yeah, I was rushing, but it was a 10 minute update. You know? And now I should have been rushing. Does a person want to sit there and listen to me talk for a minute? I don't know. Does someone want to sit there for two minutes watching me turn on and off the lights to see which one looks? No, that's why I rush in the beginning of videos so I can get the point done. Here we go. Top 10 most favorite. These are top 10 PS2 games. They're not all exclusive. Most of them aren't. But, you know, it's these are my top 10, okay? I'm going to set them against my console. Okay. So coming in at number 10 is... Yeah, I grab it. I have them all organized. Gran Turismo 4. There's writing on there. I got it used. Very fun game. Fun driving simulator. It was just a great game altogether. Um, I loved... The car selections from different eras and car manufacturers. It was a good game. Next, at number nine, is. Now, this one's a multi platform game. Most of these are. So, yeah. Spyro, a hero's tale. This game was amazing, but then I got stuck. That's why it's number nine. I love Spyro games. I played them when I was really young. Sure, today's Saturday days do seem really kiddish. It does. But the first one on PS1, that was a good one. Even an adult could be playing that game. It was fun. Anyway, number eight is. That's a bad drum roll. Okay, whoopsie, they're all gonna fall. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit them this way. Okay. Is Nanko Museum Oh god. Nanko Museum, fiftieth anniversary. There they are. Basically it has what fourteen classic arcade hits by right there. And this one was just awesome because it had fourteen games instead of like what five in the first Namco Museum game for the PS2. Well, that one was pretty good, but I chose this one instead of that one. That one had unreleased games, but this one just had a better game selection, you know. But very good games. I remember playing uh, this one, I can't remember its name. Uh, it's on the back. Rolling Thunder. I remember playing that and just Pac-Man. It was just really great. Galaga. Shout out to Ethan. Great game. Anyway, that was number eight. Number seven. See, I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing out there. I'm just doing... Number seven. Uh, number seven is another arcade game. Intellivision Lives. Now, I love the Intellivision games, but do I want to buy another console with all these cartridges separately? No. Do I have a car TV? This is a flat screen. Does it take... In television console, you know, with the coaxial? No. So, I bought this. Television Lives comes with over 60 in television games. Right there. But yeah. Oh, in television Lives. Um, name a couple of them off. Baseball, Astro Mash, and Boxing. They're just basically, all the television games were just basically second copies or rip-offs of Atari 2600 games. Usually the Atari games were better, but they still had some good ones. Snafu. Snafu was one of my most favorite ones. I'll go check that out. 
That was, uh, I forget. That was seven. <laughs> number seven. Now, for number six, because I do indeed have six games left. Number six is another arcade thing. Sonic Mega Collection Plus. I own a Sega Genesis. I love the Sega Genesis. It's got a greatest hits. And most of these games on here, I own on the Sega Genesis. But some of them I didn't, so that's why I picked this up. Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic Spinball, Sonic and Knuckles. Those were the ones that I owned on the Genesis. Now the ones I didn't own were Dr. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine and... There's one more. 3D Blast, yeah. And also, it wasn't just the Genesis games. They had, like, Game Gear and also Columns on here. So, yeah, what a good deal. Number five is Call of Duty 3. This was one of my first... This was my first PS2 game, and one other one was my first. I bought two when I got it. This was my other one, Call of Duty 3. I almost beat it. Never got around to. My brother owns us on Xbox. We beat that version. Pretty fun. But Call of Duty 3. Did I ever beat it? No. Did I almost did? Yes. I don't know why I could be playing it. Maybe it's because I bought an Xbox, but yeah, just never got around to playing it in. I wish there was multiplayer on the PS2 version. I don't know why they don't do that. But there was online. Online was awesome. Here was my other um uh, PlayStation game that I got with Call of Duty 3. These were my two first ones. Need for Speed Pro Street. See? Yep. So, yeah. Basically, you drove cars around. Well, you didn't just drive them around, of course. There were races. You did races. And, yeah. Pretty fun game. Uh... Oh, I hope you didn't see them. Uh, anyways. Well, MK Deption. Very good fighting game. Mortal Kombat was always one of my favorite game franchises. This had online, you play chess and puzzle combat, you can do arcade. It's just fun doing fatalities and gory moves. It's a pretty good game. Number two. It's one of the most violent video games ever made. That's not an exaggeration once when you hear it. Manhunt 2. Freaking gory. This game, if you're a little kid, gave me nightmares. But did it to me? No. It's freaking funny watching people die and shit. You mean like, put bags over their head and like things going out. Sorry about that guys. Um, but you can like, put plastic bags over people's heads. You could um, you know, strangle people, you could put charge of glass in their necks and throw axes, like chop them up with axes and saws and shit like that. Very good game, read AO for adult only. Then, my most favorite PlayStation 2 game out there and Xbox is Grand Theft Auto 3. Amazing game. First 3D open world game, in my opinion. Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 in London, overhead view, yeah, it was fun, but feeling like you were in a freaking movie was even better than ever. And if you wanted to, you can drive around, cause chaos, you know, you weren't forced to do the missions like in the other ones, but this one was freaking awesome. You just drove around, explored the world, and you could also do missions, side missions, you can do visually antis and stuff like that. Very good game, check this out, you can pick up hookers, kill them for the money, you can... Uh, you can do missions, you can you can drive airplanes, you can hijack people. It's just a great game. If you don't own this and you own a PS2, I'm sorry to say, but you need this game and go buy it out there now. That is all my PS2 games. You can see them right there. See you guys later. This has been Cesaro Penny One. Peace.